Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll use an online shrink operation to free unused space from a table. This can be useful after a large one-off housekeeping operation, but it isn't something you should do regularly. In most cases, the space freed by deletes will be reused by new rows. There are also no guarantees which blocks will be freed and which will be filled, so a shrink may not allow a data file to be shrunk. We use a create table as select statement to create and populate a table called T1. It has 10,000 rows of random data, an ID from 1 to 10,000, a code made up of 10 random uppercase letters, a short description made up of 50 random mixed case letters, and a long description made up of 200 random mixed case letters. We gather table statistics. This isn't really necessary for a create table as select from 12 1 onward. When we check the statistics, we can see that there are 10,000 rows in 401 blocks. We delete every row with an even ID number. That's half the rows, leaving each block approximately half empty. We gather table statistics. We can see the number of rows has reduced to 5,000, but the number of blocks is still saying 401. A shrink effectively deletes rows from partially empty blocks and inserts them into other partially empty blocks. Before we can run a shrink on a table, we need to enable row movement. We run the alter table shrink space command. This compacts the data and alters the table's high watermark. When we gather table statistics, we can see the number of blocks is now saying 194. We can shrink the space without altering the high watermark. We recreate the test table. As expected, we're back to the starting state again. We delete the rows the same way we did last time. We drop the table, so we need to enable row movement again. This time we do a shrink space compact. This recovers a space, but doesn't alter the high watermark. When we gather table statistics, we can see the number of blocks is still 401. Running another shrink space command without the compact option will amend the high watermark. In this case, we use a shrink space cascade. The cascade keyword is optional, this version of the command shrinks space for the named object and all dependent objects. When we gather table statistics, we see the number of blocks has been reduced. There are some restrictions and potential issues related to this functionality, so check out the linked articles in the description. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.